1,000 children in the state of Arizona are looking for a place to call home. Fortunately, it doesn't take much to make their dreams come true. It just takes a heart and a home. <laughs> um, if you're looking at, or thinking to, of expanding your family and you uh, would like to adopt, Crystal Ziegler is an adoption specialist with A Place to Call Home. And before we um, highlight one of your amazing children, yes. let's talk a little bit about the organization. Okay. So uh, A Place to Call Home is uh, works in foster care and adoption, and um, we help fa walk families through the process of foster care and adoption. So locating uh, children for them, they create a profile of what they're looking for, and then we help match children to those Profiles, and, and we'll talk a little bit. Process. We'll talk a little bit more about that process yeah. after. But who are you introducing us to so, today? To, I am introducing Aaliyah, and she yeah. is the cutest thing. She <laughs> is six years old. She is a little social butterfly. Of course, with any six-year-old, she needs to get a little oh, comfortable. But so then she cute. is like talkative and outgoing. She loves to play outdoors. She loves to do arts and crafts. Um, Maybe she, a future mathematician. Yes. Her favorite subject is math, and I do not understand that at all. That's so, great. And Maybe she, she loves school. She loves to learn. Um, she loves her her uh, home that she's in right now has a dog, and so she, okay. one of her favorite things to do is walk with um, the dog with her foster dad. So she loves doing that, and um, she just would love a family that would give her the time and attention mm -hmm. that she needs. You know, she's six. Yeah. She still needs to be held and cuddled and loved on and have someone sit down with her and do puzzles and arts and crafts and things like right, that. Right, to stay just, busy. Yeah. Um, and then also, so her, what is her dream, her dream family? Her dream family would be that person that would give her that, that time, a mom and mm -hmm. a, a two-parent family that would really focus on her. I, I think, you know, she hasn't had a lot of time focused on her. Mm -hmm. And so um, to give her some time to just kind of get those nurturing and things and, and, and a family that's committed to her, mm -hmm. you know. Um, these children, they've experienced trauma. Their stories are hard and right. sad and they've experienced a lot of losses and families just need to uh, be committed to seeing them through. And so many families have, I, yeah. I do believe, have, have thought about the adoption process yeah. and so um, what could you tell them as far as being able to move forward with those steps? Yeah, so um, it's a training. It's like uh, less than three months to get the whole process done. So training um, online and in the office. Um, you do an autobiography, background check, things like that. Minimal things to your home, like a fire extinguisher. If you have a pool, it does have to be gated. Okay. Um, things like that, but just minimal, minimal, th minimal things to get ready. Um, I think the biggest thing is that um, you can either go from fosters, you can foster a child with the intention to adopt, yeah. or just foster a child. We, we need foster homes as well as adoptive homes. Really? So um, if it's not a com full-time commitment that you want to make, you can foster as well. There are ways to help. And yeah. where do we go to find more information? So you go to www.tocallhome.com or you call us at 480-456-0549 and we will take you through the process. Awesome, and Aaliyah, she looks like so much fun. <laughs> She's a lot We're of fun. We're hoping that she finds a home. Thank you yeah. so much, Crystal.